Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. Sa video natin ngayon, ang pag-aralan natin is all about inverse function. So we have here the problem, find the inverse function of f of x is equal to 3x plus 4. So ang tanong dito, paano ba or ano ba yung mga steps kung paano hanapin ang inverse ng isang function? So puntahan muna natin, before natin sagutan yung question na yan, let's do or discuss the simple definition of inverse function. In a function, y is equal to f of x, where x determines y, the inverse function is f raised to negative 1 of x, where y determines the x. So we have here the original function, y is equal to f of x. Sa function na yan, ang nagdetermine sa y ay yung x. O ang nagbibigay ng definition sa output ay yung input. So, kapag kinuha naman natin yung inverse, ang kanyang itsura ay magiging ganito. Ito yung representation. F of f raised to negative 1 of x, where y determines x. Dito naman, yung y variable, yung nagdetermine sa x variable. So, mayroon tayo itong f of x, na kung saan, when you find the, the inverse function of this f of x, it will become f raised to negative 1 of x. And then another thing na dapat yung matutunan is that when you have f raised to negative 1 of f of x at yung isa pa natin f raised to f raised to negative 1 of x are both equal to x. Later on, itong last part na to ay makikita nyo kung para saan ba yan. Now, so, here are the steps on how to find the inverse of a function. Step number 1 you need to replace f of x with y. Step number two, interchange x and y. Step number three, solve for y using appropriate properties of equality. Step number four, replace the new y with f of x, sorry, f raised to negative one of x. So let's have the first problem na meron tayo kanina. So ginawa ko rito, nilagay ko rin dito yung steps natin para meron tayong guide on how to find the inverse of a function given the function f of x is equal to 3x plus 4. So, copy muna natin yung problem natin. f of x is equal to 3x plus 4. Step number 1, replace daw natin tong f of x with y. So, paita natin ng y. So, ang new equation natin ngayon is y is equal to 3x plus 4. So, we are done with step number 1. Step number 2, interchange daw natin yung variable x and y. So, pagpapalitin natin yung pwesto ng variable x and y. So, this will be x is equal to 3y plus 4. Ang pinakapunto nitong step number 2, Lahat ng variable y na mapapansin nyo ay gagawin yung x. At lahat ng variable x na ma-encounter nyo is gagawin yung variable y. So let's go with step number 3. Solve for y using appropriate properties of equality. So try natin. To solve for y, unan yung step dito gagawin ay i-transpose muna si 4 sa kabila. And that will be x minus 4 is equal to 3y. And then divide both sides by 3. Cancel natin to. So, ang matitira na sa right side ng equation natin is y. So, interchange na natin. That is y is equal to x minus 4 over 3. And for the final step, replace the new y with f raised to negative 1 of x. So, itong y natin ngayon ay gagawin natin f raised to negative 1 of x is equal to x minus 4 over 3. Ito na ngayon yung inverse ng given function natin kanina. f of x is equal to 3x plus 4. At ang kanyang inverse ay f raised to negative 1 of x is equal to x minus 4 over 3. So ngayon, meron tayong extra step dito. Paano ba natin malalaman kung tama ba talaga yung ating nakuwang inverse function? So, let's do the checking. Ito yung another step natin, parang step number 5. Checking natin. 
So kanina sa last part natin, sabi dito kanina, uh, this one should be equal to x. Ayun yung gagamitin natin for the checking. Sige, try natin. So, dapat, pag ginamit natin tong f raised to f, f of f raised to negative 1 of x, dapat ang magiging value niya ay x. Paano ba ginagawa yan? Kung mapansin nyo, we have the function f in which ang tinutukoy dyan ay yung original function. You have your f of x is equal to 3x plus 4. Yan yun. Pero kung mapansin nyo, sa loob ng parenthesis nito, meron tayong f raised to negative 1 of x na kung saan ang tinutukoy niya ay ito. Yung ating inverse function. So, ano bang purpose niyan? Ito ngayon, yung x minus 4 over 3, siya ngayon yung magiging input natin sa original function natin na f of x is equal to 3x plus 4. At sa bandang huli, para malaman kung tama siya, dapat ang magiging value niya ay x. So, try natin. So, f of x minus 4 over 3, or gawin na lang natin simple, f of f raised negative 1 of x is equal to 3 times yung ating x minus 4 over 3. Again, ito yung x natin, pinalitan natin ng ating inverse function, plus 4. So, maka-cancel natin to since multiplication siya, you will have x minus 4 plus 4. And simplifying that, yung ating f of f raised to negative 1 of x is equal to negative 4 plus 4 is 0 x. So, ito na yung nakuha natin. Since naging ganito na siya, ang value niya ay x. Automatic, yung inverse function natin, f of negative, f raised to negative 1 of x is equal to x minus 4 is the inverse of this function. So, I hope na yung first example natin ay nakuha nyo na yung way kung paano hanapin yung inverse function. So, let's move on to example number 2. Example to, number 2 natin is a rational function. So, copy muna natin problem. f of x is equal to x minus 2 over 2x plus 3. Let's do the steps. Step 1, replace f of x with y. So this is y is equal to x minus 2 over 2x plus 3. Interchange the variable x and y. Magiging x is equal to y minus 2 over 2y plus 3. So, we are done with step number 2. Step number 3, solve for y using appropriate properties of equality. So, ang next step natin dito is you need to cross-multiply. That will be x times 2y plus 3 is equal to y minus 2. Continue lang natin. This will be 2xy. Multiply natin to plus 3x is equal to y minus 2. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon, ang next step natin ay pagkasamayin natin yung mga terms na merong variable y sa, sa left side. Transpose natin to dito. Ito naman 3x ay dito sa kabila. So, magiging equation natin ngayon ay 2xy since transpose natin dito yung y, magiging negative y na siya is equal to, yung 3x naman natin magiging negative 3x minus 2. So, yun na. Kung mapansin nyo, uh, sa right side natin, sa two terms natin, 2xy minus y, common yung variable y. We can factor out y. y. Times 2x minus 1. 
Tama ba? Is equal to negative 3x minus 2. So, kung kapansin nyo, meron na tayong y. Na kung saan, you can divide both sides by 2x minus 1. Para ma-eliminate natin ito. Ito rin, divided by 2x minus 1. So, your y is equal to negative 3x minus 2 over 2x minus 1. So, medyo marami tayong in-apply na properties dyan. And then, last step natin, replace the y, the new y, with f raised to negative 1 of x. So, we have f raised to negative 1 of x is equal to negative 3x minus 2 over 2x minus 1. Ito na ngayon yung inverse function ng given natin kanina. Now, para naman sa ating checking, we will use f of f raised to negative 1 of x. Dapat siya equal sa x again. Dito, gagawin natin yung value ng ating inverse siya ngayon yung magiging input ng ating original function. So, copy mo na natin. So, that is f of x is equal to x minus 2 over 2x plus 3. So, try natin. So, ang gagawin natin, replace natin itong variable x, itong dalawang ito, itong value na to. So, you have your f of f raised to negative 1 of x is equal to negative 3x minus 2 over 2x minus 1 and close natin sa parenthesis minus 2 over 2 times negative 3x minus 2 over 2x minus 1 and then plus 3 again yung x natin pinalitan natin, natin natin itong value ng ating inverse function so ang gagawin natin ngayon we need to simplify the numerator and denominator so simplify lang natin so that will be kunin natin kanilang LCD which is 2x minus 1 numerator muna tayo Divide natin, 2x minus 1 divided by 2x minus 1 is 1. Times natin dito, that will be 3x minus 2. Then 2x minus 1 divided by 1, that is 2x minus 1. So, ibig sabihin negative 2 times 2x minus 1. And then over, ito kasing part na to ay yung sa numerator. So, denominator naman tayo. Ito ngayon ay magiging... over 2x minus 1 at 2x minus 1 divided by 2x minus 1 is 1 and then ito naman multiply natin ito magiging negative 6x minus 4 and 2x minus 1 divided by 1 is 2x minus 1 times 3 so that is plus 3 times 2x minus 1 so ayun na medyo malapit tapit na tayo Simplify natin itong numerator na ito, itong part na ito. So, that is negative, maging careful lang tayo, negative 3x minus 2 minus, ito, multiply natin ito, minus 4x, ito naman ay magiging plus 2 over 2x minus 1. Tayo. And then, ito naman, diameter natin, simplify natin over lahat din dito, mas malaking fraction bar, magiging negative 6x minus 4. Ito naman, distribute natin, 3 times 2x, that is plus 6x. And then, 3 times negative 1 is minus 3. So, yan. Over 2x minus 1. So, simplify muna natin itong numerator natin. magiging 
combine like terms, ito magiging negative negative 7x tapos yung negative 2 plus 2 is 0 okay na yan over 2x minus 1 all over ito naman yung 6x natin makakancel na kasi negative 6x plus 6x wala na yan then we have negative 4 minus 3 we have negative 7 over 2x minus 1 so malapit-apit na tayo let's try natin this is, copy natin to, negative 7x over 2x minus 1. At itong part na to, since tapos tayo sa pag-simplify, kunin natin yung reciprocal niya para mag-proceed tayo sa multiplication. So, that is 2x minus 1 over negative 7. Cancel natin to, and you will have negative 7x over negative 7. Kung mapansin nyo, can eliminate this one and this one at ang natitira na lang ay x. Therefore, you will have f of f raised to negative 1 of x is equal to x. Since x na yung value niya, ay nakuha natin yung final answer, ibig sabihin, itong inverse natin, ito, is the real inverse or the correct inverse of this given function. So, I hope na natutunan nyo yung process natin on how to find the inverse of, of a function though mahirap-hirap siya. And marami kayong mga discover na iba't iba klaseng function. Dito, ang nakuha lang natin ay yung linear at yung inverse function. Again, maraming salamat. I am Teacher Gon. God bless.